Hi, it's Eric Pettigrew, and I'd like to welcome you to my first time home buyer process video series. Uh, what we're going to do to start off today is with part one, and basically part one, just uh, basic, basically what's going to happen is that you are going to determine, hey, it's time for me to become a homeowner. Um, so there's a couple things you really need to do in the very beginning. Uh, the very first process is the fact that you need to actually determine what kind of a mortgage payment you would be comfortable with. The only way to do that is to discuss your situation with a mortgage broker. Now, myself or any other real estate agent can guide you on who to contact as far as a mortgage broker. Uh, but once you talk to the mortgage broker, at that point in time, you'll determine what you are comfortable with as far as the purchase price uh, which in turn gives you your mortgage payment. Now the next step after you've determined that is the fact that you need to make sure that you have enough funds to be able to close once you do have a, uh, an accepted offer on a property. Now the closing costs are uh, things like lawyer, uh, detransfer tax, um, adjustments at closing, things along that line. Those are variables they change from town to municipalities, but then again, uh, either the mortgage broker or us as real estate agents can give you a hand uh, determining that amount. We just want to make sure that once you get the home, uh, once you have an offer on the home that you really like, uh, that's going to be your home forever, that you don't lose it because you don't have enough funds at the end. And of course, don't forget your down payment because you will have to have the down payment for the bank. That varies, but for the most part, 5% is, uh, is the norm uh, on most mortgages. Thanks for watching this part. We'll catch you in part number two.